my name is Bokis. You welcome to my channel. I'm always excited each time I want to put up a new video. And if this is your first time of checking out this channel, you are welcome. And please hit on the subscribe button because you will be good to this channel. I promise you that. You can also follow me on Instagram, the key signatures and our Facebook group, Sewing Innovation. It is a lovely group where you can learn from. Just try to search for it on Facebook and the administrators will be waiting for you there. Guess what we will be making today? We will be making an elastic waist butterfly dress. Yeah, it is so beautiful and you can get over with it in few minutes, which I will be showing you how to do that. I will be making use of this fabric here. You need about two yards or two and a half, depending on how long you want it to be. The essential measurements you need, your bust measurement, your waist to be negligible because there's going to be some smoking around this place. Then you need your hip circumference. Then you, another essential thing is the length of your sleeve. How do you determine that? Just take your measuring tape, place it at the bone here on your center back. Then determine wherever you want it to stop. Like mine, 22, 23 is okay for me. So right now, let's go over to the work table and get started. Right now, this is the fabric. Can you see that? So this is the wrong side. I will be marking on the right side. So all you have to do is to place it this way. Can you see this? Then I'll just make sure it's enough for me. I wanted 40 inches for the length of the dress. And you see, including the hemming allowance. So 40, I have 40, so it is enough for me. So after folding it this way, then the next thing now is to fold again. Can you see that? Then we can. So the first measurement we will be taking is half of the ham hole. But because this is a very free top, it's like a caftan top, I will just, on a normal day, I make use of eight and a half inches. But for this, I will make use of nine inches or nine and a half. That totally depends on you. So I will just mark nine inches here. Then the next thing will be the hip measurement. But because this dress, it is looking at the under bust that will give it the shape. Are you getting me? So you could even ignore the hip measurement, but at the lower part, it's just like an A-line dress. But the smoking will give it a, a, a nice shape. So your bust measurement is very, very essential. Then you had about four to five inches to your hip measurements at the lower part. The place where the smoking will be will be under your bust. My under bust measurement is 14 and a half, which is here. Can you see that? So half of my ham hole, I added extra half an inch to it, or you could make it one inch depending on you. Then under my bust measurement and then the length of my dress. Right now, I will make all this point into a straight line. Right now, I have half of my ham hole on a straight line, then the measurement of the nape of my neck down to my Honda bust. Remember, I told you you could neglect all other the waist and the hip, but you need your hip measurement. Quarter of my hip measurement, that is the hip circumference divided by 4. It is 11. So I will just make it 15 because it's like an A-line dress, which the uh, smoking will give it a perfect shape at the under bust. So what I will do now is to measure 15 inches at the hem of the gown and then mark it this way. Can you see that? After doing that, then I will go back here. Then I will insert my bust measurement here. Quarter of my bust measurement is 10 and a half. You don't need any seam allowance here because we will be sewing on the right side and it's going to have some sleep. But I will make it 11 inches. Can you see that? Then I will mark it here. And the next thing now is to connect from this bust measurement down to this part. Can you see that? So this is what I will have. So now by the time you'll be sewing, you'll be sewing here. But first you have to work on the smoking area. So for the smoking, I will show you the smoking thread, what it looks like. So what you just do is this, you need about five lines of that. And then you just make it quarter inch away from each other. So for instance, quarter inch is here, 
quarter inch is here quarter inch is here and is here so i'll just make this into a straight line this will help you when you are sewing on it so right now can you see so this is where the thread will be when you are sewing it so then it becomes gathered and give it a wonderful shape so before going to the neck region now we will go over to the sleeve for the sleeve i said i will make it 22 or 23 from the center back so to make it 22 this is it then i will mark it here and this is the point so then it's going to go this way this way but to make it more accurate just come around this on the bus area and then measure 22 again or make it 21 21 minus 1 can you see that the next thing now is to start connecting in a curvy manner can you see that can you see that can you see that so i curve like one and a half inch upward from where the dress will end just to give it that circular effect can you see this so i will be cutting through this place to give it a wonderful shape but before that let's go back to the neckline region remember this is both the front and the back so what i will do now is to cut out the back neck first before going to the front neckline so for the back i want a neck width of three and a half inches so by the time i hem it it will make it four so i will just make it three and a half so three and a half is here then the depth will be one inch then i will use my hammer curve to curve it out oh, yeah. so this is for the back neck we are as good as done so first i will cut out the curve area before the neckline so we can move to the front panel now this is what the curved area looks like then i will go for the back neck remember the depth for the back is one inch because we will need us while cutting the front panel so this is for the back so whatever you've done here i will do it on the other side what you could just do is this because i give it a good press so i would know where the shoulder line will be can you see that because it's already creased can you see that so that makes it easier so i will just all the measurements i have here i will place it on the other part or what you can do is this if your chop is very nice just this is the midpoint just fold it over make sure the midpoint is well it's intact then you tap it it shows on the other side then you can trace it out after opening it up this is what we have this is the bust measurement so you start sewing from here down to the lower part so this is the area in which you will smoke so by the time you have it it will be something like this so looking at this you see it will give it a very lovely shape so the next thing now is to move to the front neckline remember i said my fabric is pressed can you see that so what i will do now is and this is the midpoint because it's creased because of the type of fabric i use but if yours is not like that, just mark everything to make it easier for you. So this is the midpoint. I will just take it this way. This is the midpoint. The midpoint is creased, so it's easier for me. Then I will do it this way. Can you see? And this is for the back. So you just pull the back fabric forward. And then I will have something like this. So the next thing now is to pin this down. So I have the front panel to deal with. This is what I have. This is for the front and this is for the back. So I already pinned it down. This is the back neckline. So now we'll deal with the front neckline. Remember we came down by one inch to cut both the front and the back. But for the neck depth, I want it to be five inches. So I will start from one inch. Because one inch has been cut off from also from the front panel. So five inches will be here. Can you see that? The neck weight will be the same. So I'll just make a V neck. Um, how do I do that? I'll just place it like this. 
I don't want a sharp V. So you could just place it this way and then and you see this is my V neck. So I will take my scissors and then cut it. In case you want another deeper neckline, you could just maybe you want it to be eight. You could just cut it this way. So you cut this first before moving around there. But I will just make do with only this V neck. I don't want it to be too low. So this is for the front and this is for the back. So right now I'll just couple it back together and show you how it looks. So this is what the front leg line looks like. So can you see that? So this is the front neckline and this is the back. It remains intact. So this is the smoking thread. You can see it is elastic. So this is what we will insert into the shuttle and then we we'll use to, to make a straight line here. Just so in a straight line here, just five, it's okay. So all you have to do now is to sew in a straight line. But before you do that, first I will have to hem this part. Can you see the raw edges? I have to conceal it. I will take to my sewing machine and conceal all the raw edges before I now start with the smoking. I have concealed all the raw edges. Can you see it's all through, both front and back. Then I finish the neckline. This is what it looks like on the wrong side. Can you see it? I finish it off with a bias strip. So this is what it looks like. Then on the right side, I have this neat finishing. Can you see it? So the next thing now is to go for the smoking around this place. You will be doing that on the wrong side. So this is what you have. Make sure you have your thread in your shirt. So can you see that? So this is what you put in your bobbin. So, so I will be sewing just five. One, then quarter inch away. Two, then quarter inch away, three, until you have like five or six, depending on what you want. So that would, that's what I will do next now. Take to my sewing machine and show you what it looks like. Can you see what it looks like? This is it. After smoking it, can you see? It's gathered. So I will do, this is for the front. I'm going to do that same thing for the back. This is what it looks like on the wrong side. Can you see the thread? Can you see that? So after doing the other one, then I will place on each other, then sew on the straight line. So right now, this is what I have. The top is as good, or the dress is as good as done. So I've done both for the front and the back. So the next thing now is to sew the straight line. This is on the right side. You can see it's so neat and elastic. Looking at it, it's already formed a very beautiful dress and I can't wait to rock it. So now remember, this is on the right side. This is the line we left. This is the result of the elastic waist butterfly dress we just made. Can you see it's so beautiful? It's so nice and you can actually rock it anywhere you want to. Make sure you try us out and share with us on our Facebook group, Sewing Innovations. And if my story has been helpful, please just smash the like button. Bye.